What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. That's right. I uh, know, I'm just going to be loading up maybe five episodes today, for all I know. I really do want to get through this playthrough so I can move on to better things. And so I can actually get back to playing this game, you know, a little bit without having to worry about y'all guys watching. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and head out here. The good neighbor. Now, last time, we went ahead and talked with Nick Valentine. And we went inside the mine of Kellogg. Public enemy number one. In this episode, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to look around Good Neighbor a little bit. See what's to do, figure out what we can take care of. You know, good stuff, good stuff. Man, though. And if you remember from last time, Nick looked like he was compromised by Kellogg. So let's figure out what the hell is just going on. gotta stick together and the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart you feel me yeah you tell it like it is hancock now what out there the about hell a hancock. friendly commonwealth will want to drive us apart what kind of twisted unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community the institute and their sins that's right who's damn that? coming up to my office later You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Neighborhood not Watch. The rails, not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lard head. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. Hmm. Family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop you can't it blame is to stick together. Everything on the institute here cross. You know that, right? Not afraid. Now, who's scared of the institute? Not, not us. us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the institute not fuck with? Good neighbor. Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Good neighbor. Of the people. For the people. Remain silent during the speech. Peace, brother. Nick. There's one badass gun, but that's not the point. Nick. What do you say we go ahead and head downstairs? Figure out what the hell is going on around here. Here, it's the third rail. Maybe they have a bar. Haven't had a drink in a while. Let's go ahead and figure out what exactly we're supposed to be doing. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Oh, don't want to take that. The fuck? What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. God, I love this song. McCready. Wait till this song is over. You then. To see a lie. Edward Deacon. Looks like a badass. Well, can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you've never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. 
<laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating oh inside God. our territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a higher gun, then maybe we can talk. Well, who are maybe. they? Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. The gunners? I've heard of the gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? I stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. And what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approach me. Frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. It brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargain. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Drive a hard bargain. You just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Okay, we'll send on Nick Valentine down to Sanctuary Hills. I'm kind of a badass, McCready. Man, I could really use a cigarette. Magnolia's got a hell of a voice. You're new around good neighbor, I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? My kind of place. My kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but beats I grew up in the streets of Boston. I think I can handle a little bit of rough town. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running. A little bit of scrap. That sort of thing. If I'm not here, drinking this swill Charlie calls beer, I'm usually over at the Hotel Rexford. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Let me show you what I got. Oh man, he sells uh, quite a few things. Let's see what we can get. Let's see. No 44 Magnums, so... Running from something? Welcome home. You step through the gate, and you got balls. Oi, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Who's the singer? Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. Flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you gonna order? Let me think it over. Well, fucking me. Hey, Charlie. What'll it be? Third rail? Third rail. Is this your place? What? Nah, golf. Place is Hancock's. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean. The drink's dirty. <laughs> So, you're buying a what? I'll take a look, sure. Don't bother tipping. I'm already overcharging you. <laughs> That's funny. I guess we'll buy a beer. Now that you're liquored up, I've got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Sounds up my alley. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a cleanup job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. 
the old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's I hear you. Where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know when it is. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. I don't do work. Unless I know who's paying the bills. Not your... I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Yeah. Okay, McCready. Keep your iron strapped on. So we got ourselves a job. care of these idiots for him. Man though, good neighbors, uh interesting neighborhood, I'm gonna say the least. I mean I've never I never really grew up in an area kinda like this, so I wanna know what it's like to uh be in a really hardcore town like this, but I don't think a lot of people would in all honesty. You gonna break into this? Keep an eye out McCready. We'll get it, we'll get it. Oh man, we haven't had any action in this game forever though. Oh, got it. Nice. Do I hang on here? And let's go and take care of some of these assholes they've been talking about. Oh! Shit. Well, they probably know I'm here now. You iced him sick. Oh, oh the trigger man, of course. Part of that gang me and Nick Valentine took care of. Shit. Go ahead and take a stim pack really quick. Throw some purified water. Oh man. We should have packing. Oh boy. Oh, he thought he was good enough. Oh boy. Take all this. Yeah, yeah, looks good, looks good. Uh-huh. Let's take 
like, uh, oh, you guys, first aid supplies. Hmm, this racks. Making sure we got everything. So far, so good. Go ahead, sneak out of here. And go ahead and head to the next one. Oh man, they were not particularly difficult, but I'm using Kellogg's armor now instead of uh, Nick Valent instead of using the ones like my original outfit. So I'm probably doing uh, not as much damage. I mean, I'm not taking as much hits, obviously. So I am considering uh, changing it. Let's see. Take a sweet head in here and take on these guys really quick. This isn't particularly difficult, in all honesty, it's not a They thought. Whatever you the hell are they? All right, Nick, I see you. Just when you think you can kill them with some other kind of weapon. Like and you should wipe these guys off quickly. Bunch of good stuff here I could just go ahead and sell. Just making sure I got everything. It looks like we're good.
I'm gonna see that. All right, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Hey, you have your things you like to do, and I have mine. Still haven't leveled up yet, that's crazy. Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully they don't notice us. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this last one. And we'll head back and see what the deal is. I mean, this has been going on for a while now, hasn't it? So like I said, let's go ahead and uh, make our way down to that final warehouse and take care of these assholes once and for all. Bust out the AK-47, semi-automatic. Nobody's around. This is good, which is good. Oh, first try. First That's try, it. baby. Let's go ahead and make our way into this asshole's little warehouse and let's finish off these motherfuckers. I'm not sure what they did, but they work for uh, Skinny Malone, so they can't be too good. Oh, shit. I did, bitch. Be covering fire, man. Hey. Hey. Let's go, McCready. Take him. him. McCready. I'm almost out. I'm going to need to take that guy down. Here, I'm going to take a stim pack. McCready, come on. Gotcha. Oh shit. I'll take more lead than the fucking Punisher. My god. One left. Leaving so soon. We're just starting to admire you. Shit. Pretty. Heads up. Yeah, Come on. Got it. You go right here. Forget it. Uh uh. Over here. Can't get to that. Couldn't hide. Ain't very courageous of you. Come on out. I promise. Ah! I'm carrying too much shit. Of course, of course. Something's not right here. Okay, McCready. Heads up. Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Put some red leathers on you. Why do you have to wear leather like that, McCready? Look alive. Yeah, what is it? 
Time to split up the loot? Oh boy, let's see what we can give you. Um, Alrighty, alrighty. And I think just for the hell of it, we're gonna go ahead and give Alive. you the oh, you shouldn't have. some weapons. Let's go. But first, we're one hundred percent sure we got everything. No, it's everything. So let's go ahead and head down to that bar. One of the funner things about this game is the quests. I mean, there is a shit ton of them. I mean, we're going to be in Good Neighbor for a while now. We could go ahead. We could, we're going to take care of Good Neighbor for a while. I mean, so we could be doing some other things. But as of right now, I want to go ahead and just try to take on some of these quests. Because, well, we were already here. Might as well. Make our way to the third rail. Go down to the very bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and tell. Uh, I forgot his name. Honestly, I played this game so many times, I forgot his name. I guess he's not that remember. I think his name's Jack, actually. Downstairs. Is it Jack? Come on, please be Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. It can't be Jack. I love how they turn this place into a subway. Welcome home. I've heard. Some exterminator cleaning down the rats in the old warehouses. Know anything about that, would you? Nope, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's right. And I don't know why I'm handing you all these cups. Funny world, ain't it? Damn right it is. White Chapel Charlie. I think we had a pretty successful day, huh, McCrady? I think this is going to be a beautiful partnership. I'll learn more about you as time goes on. That's a nice rifle, though. But, what do you say we go ahead and head up and uh, see uh, Hancock? I mean, I'm sure he has some stuff for us to take care of. We just can't go through this way, apparently. Oh boy, I actually might call this an episode, I'm not sure. Um, I've been at it for a while on this one, so... Hmm. It all just depends. Mechanical missing. Oh shit. We just started the DLC. That's not good. I'm not sure we're ready for the DLC. Can't believe it. You look just like Sammy too. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Poor drifter. He didn't do anything wrong. Holy shit, he was carrying a lot of stuff on him.
Yeah, looks like that's everything, my friends. And that appears to be everything taken care of for right now. So I think we'll go ahead and call that an episode. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes when I make my next one. I know, right? So I'm coming to the problem, though, of whether or not I want to do mechanized menace yet. Because, I mean, it's, it's a fun, it's some fun DLC. I'm not going to lie. But it's some hard shit. And it's as hard as it gets. What level am I even at? Level 15, of course. Well, I think we should go ahead and take uh, intelligence. Holy shit, you get a lot on him. And I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes when I make my next episode. So don't go nowhere. You can't. You'll just hit the next button. Feel free to hit like and subscribe.